Activation of the primary level love system. Username, Jean Weiyang Gender, male age, 17 years old height, 1.74 meters. System mission, achieve the primary love status. Mission target, the first person that you meet at the school entrance on the first day of school. User's initial score, 50 points you will gain points by obtaining forward progress in your love status you will lose points if your progress in your love status declines full mission score, 100 points. When you're left with O points, the punishment system will be activated. What's the punishment system? What do you think you're doing? Did you use my bathroom without letting me know? I did. How many times have I told you not to sneak into my bathroom to take a bath? Your bathroom is the only one with a bathtub. Still you can't. Wei Guang, are you done? This isn't over. Ching, give me two more minutes. I'll come down soon. Qing. Yang Yang. Pei Qing arrived at the Zhan household yesterday evening. He's Zhan Weiyang's nominal cousin. Three years ago, Zhan Weiyang's aunt remarried. Pei Qing was brought into the family as his uncle's son. Pei Qing started living in the Zhan household as he was doing an internship at a nearby company. He's so tall. I know how to play basketball too. Why won't they ask me to play with them? It's the primary level love system. Yang Yao, are you still sleeping? We're going to have dinner. All right. We'll wait for you downstairs. Hee <laughs> hee, you're not old at all. You look really young, grandmother. All right. Wei Yang. Yang Yang, are you awake? Grandmother, Qing. I'm going outside. Yang Yang. Aunt Luo. Hurry up and get in the car. Okay. Uncle, we've booked a room. It seems like everyone likes Qing. He likes roast duck, but not cucumbers and spring onion. Are you interning at Chong Fong? That's right. Chong Fong is great. It's a publicly listed company. They're offering you plenty of perks, right? It's all right. Wei Guang will be returning to school the day after. I'll be out on a business trip for around a month. I'll take care of the house. Don't worry, uncle. By the way, you have a license, right? I'll leave my car behind. If anything happens, please help Yang Yang out. I will. There's also something that I would like to trouble you with. Yang Yang doesn't live at school, and his results aren't the best. He's not dumb, but he gets easily distracted. Someone needs to look after him when he's studying at home at night. Please keep an eye on him every night. Would that be all right with you? That's fine. No worries at all, uncle. I usually read at night as well. I can study together with Wei Yang. All right. That's decided. Then. Pei Qing is a really good kid. He is. Qing, basketball tomorrow as well? Now, our parents like Qing even more. You guys should shower and go to bed early. All right. Qing is taking a shower. I'll shower in dad's room. Yang Yang, make sure you listen to Qing and your grandmother when I'm not at home. It'll be fine. I won't be far away. Call me if anything happens. I'll come back at once. All right. Go to bed. I'll head off tomorrow morning. Dad, come back soon. Sure, my son.
Today's score, 50 points. Why am I not doing well from the very start? Dad will be upset if he finds out. Get up, Wei Yang. It's your first day of school today. You can't be late. I'm coming right now. Yang Yang, you're awake. Good morning, grandmother. Where's Qing? Qing only starts work at 9 o'clock in the morning. He won't be up so early. Study hard, Yang Yang. After you get into college in a few more years, you can laze around in bed as well. All right, I'm going to school. Wait, I need to text Chin Yu Yu. Mission target, the first person that you meet at the school entrance on the first day of school. I wonder who I'll meet. If it's someone like that, I'm afraid it'll be hard for me to pursue them. It'll be hard if it's someone like that as well. Her boyfriend is the president of the student council. It won't be easy for me to pursue her. Therefore, it'll be great if that person is Chin Yu Yu. He's my best friend. It'd be much easier for me to pursue him. When are you arriving at school? I might be able to get a full score very soon. I shouldn't have cheated, oh, replies. Did the system find out, one step, two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps? Ding! Mission target confirmed. Who is he? Good morning, respected teachers and dear students. I'm Xia Ling, a freshman in high school. I'm honored to have the chance to speak in stage as the representative for all freshmen. Chen Yu Yu, look at Xia Ling. Ha. Huh. I'm going to pursue him. Wa. During class. I usually copy Chen Yu Yu's homework. It's likely that he'll teach me how to pursue Xia Ling as well. Are you out of your mind? Isn't Xia Ling a guy? Yes. Do you like men? Are you gay? No, I'm not. I don't like him. I just want to pursue him. Why? I can't tell you. Stop asking questions. Can't you help me think of a way to pursue him? I think Xia Ling likes girls. He won't like you. You should change your gender first. I don't think I can do that. My dad won't agree. What can I do? Give up. School's finally over. See you tomorrow. I can't give up. The shared bike at the school entrance. The system will punish me. Sai, how can I pursue him? Welcome back, Wei Yang. Come. Dinner's ready. What did you eat for lunch at school today, Yang Yang? Potato with green peppers and shredded pork with fish sauce. The food in school cafeterias doesn't taste good. They're prepared in bulk. Actually, the food in the school cafeteria is pretty delicious. It's Qin. I can't turn around. Phew. I got it. Shall I write him a love letter? Come in. Aunt Luo asked me to bring some fruit up for you. You should rest. All right. I'll keep you company while you study after I finish showering. Still eating. Qin, it's all right. Take it slow. Brother Qin's hand is really warm. Qin is really handsome. You're going to write Xia Ling a love letter. You can do that. Yeah. I'll write him a love letter after I finish my math homework. The teacher told us that, we can't leave any question blank even if we don't know the answer. We have to complete all the questions. 
Previously, I thought that Yang Yang just had an introverted personality. But now it seems like, Yang Yang isn't introverted. He seems to be a little slow. He chose a for all the questions. Uncle started a business on his own. He managed his business in such an organized manner all by himself. Wei Guang has excelled in his studies since young as well. He got accepted into a renowned university in the city. But why is Yang Yang so slow? Do you need help? This question can be solved like this. Oh, clueless. It's dark outside, I can write my love letter now. I can't write essays at all. What should I do? Yang Yang, what's wrong? My teacher assigned us an essay today. What's the topic? A love letter. Do the teachers in senior high ask students to write love letters for homework now? Ah, uh, how should I write it? I've never written one before. Do you want me to teach you how to write one? Yeah. Who are you writing the letter to? No one in particular, just an imaginary person. What kind of girl is your ideal type? A girl who's tall, good-looking, and with excellent grades. Do you like girls with good grades? I don't like girls like that. It's one of the essay requirements. It's one of the essay requirements? All right. Begin with a self-introduction. I'm Jean Weiyang from Class 3. I'm in my second year of senior high, and I'm 17 years old. I'm 174 centimeters tall. My horoscope is Aries, and my blood type is B. How's this? Does this work? You don't need to be so detailed. It's all right. You can continue. You can write about the first time you met her. How did you feel at that moment? I met you at the school entrance this morning. I think that you're extremely good looking. I thought that you had a nice voice when I heard you speak. You have excellent results too. I think that you're amazing. Is that why you like her? I don't. Decline in your love status. Two points deducted. What's wrong? Actually, I do. You can like whoever you want. Don't get nervous. I like him. Don't deduct my points anymore. Yang Yang, come over and sit down. Let's continue writing. Continue writing. My points. You can continue writing tomorrow if you're not in a hurry to hand it in. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry. In that case, I'll be going back to my room. Thank you, Brother Ching. You're welcome. Good night. I met you at the school entrance this morning. You're extremely good looking. I thought that you had a nice voice when I heard you speak. You have excellent results too. I think that you're amazing. I like you. Can you be my boyfriend? My phone number is. You can add me on WeChat. I finally finished writing the first love letter in my life. Are you here? Can you not deduct my points? I was just joking today. It's ignoring me. Today's score, 48 points. Dowdu Stationery Luckily, there's no one here. To be, or not to be, that is the question, whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to no more, and by a sleep to say we end, a heartache and the thousand natural shocks. What's wrong? I finished writing a love letter to Xia Ling. Can you help me hand it to him? No. Chen Yu Yu. That flesh is heir to, tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, 
to sleep. I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. What is it? No, it's nothing. Students, it's time for class. Give it to me. I'll do it in the afternoon. Why don't you G give it to him yourself? I'm scared. Of what? You dare to pursue him, but you don't dare to give him a love letter. Hey, it's Xia, Xia Ling. Let's go. Stop eating. Let's see where they're headed to. I'm sorry. It's too hot out here. Yeah, it's really hot. I'm going back. All right. Xia Ling is leaving. How did it go? I gave it to him. Ah, uh, did you tell him that I wrote the love letter? Didn't you write your name in the letter? I just said that it was from my friend. It's all right. Xia Ling doesn't have good taste. Let's pursue other girls in the future. I'll help you write a love letter. All right. What are you burning? Isn't this the love letter that Yang Yang wrote last night? It's just some draft paper. It's not your academic transcript. No, I just started school. We haven't had exams yet. Ching, you've gotten off work. Yeah, I just got home. Yang Yang, are you not feeling well? No, I'm just full. I'll go rest for a while. Goodbye. Please enjoy the next performance. Where's Chin? He went upstairs. Oh. It's really hot. I'll grab one for Chin. Ching isn't here. He's probably showering. The ice cream has melted a little. Yang Yang? Ah, uh, Ching. Have some ice cream. Thank you. Should I leave? Ching has a great figure. Ching. Have some ice cream. Thank you. I'm gonna head downstairs. You can hang out here for a bit more. Okay. Do you have a lot of homework today? I handed in all my homework in the afternoon. Do you want to take a shower later? I'll keep you company while you study after you finish showering. All right. Instinctive. I'll go shower. All right. Go on. It smells like chin. I'll keep you company while you study after you finish showering. Although Ching isn't my biological cousin, he treats me really well. He treats me even better than Zhang Weiguang does. Dad and everyone else like Ching. I like Ching too. It's the chair that Ching pushed over last night. Why isn't Ching here yet? Ching. Come in. Ching, I finished showering. Have you finished washing up? Yeah, I'm done washing up. Is that so? Yeah. All right. 
Come on. I'll watch you do your revision. All right. Go through your textbook by yourself today. Don't hesitate to ask me questions if you don't understand anything. All right. Doesn't understand anything. English document. Yang Yang, I'm done reading the document. Ha! Huh. You haven't finished writing the love letter homework that your teacher assigned to you. You shouldn't procrastinate while completing your homework, especially when it comes to essays. You can't pause too long in between. Otherwise, you'll lost your train of thought. Let's continue writing now. I finished writing the letter. Really? Show it to me. I've handed it in to my teacher. All right. Show it to me after your teacher finishes marking it. Can you show it to me tomorrow? What's wrong, Yang Yang? Don't be afraid. I promised uncle that I'll help you out with your homework. I just want to help you to the best of my abilities. The quality of your writing isn't important. But we have to know how to improve ourselves. Isn't that so? Even if you don't do well, I won't blame you. That wasn't homework. What did you say? The love letter wasn't homework. I wrote it for someone else. Oh, who was it for? Yang Yang, is this your first time being in a relationship? I'm not in a relationship. I asked someone to hand the love letter to that person, but that person threw it away. Did she throw it away in front of you? Is she that rude? That person doesn't know I wrote the letter. Chin, what should I do? If she doesn't accept love letters, confess to her straight away. What if that person doesn't accept me? Taken aback are you not willing to give up on her even if she rejects you in public? Decline in your love status. Two points deducted. I won't give up. Chin. Can you tell me what I should do? Don't fret. Yang Yang, you're in the second year of senior high right now. It's a critical academic period for you. Therefore, I don't approve of you being in a relationship right now. Then what should I do? Don't think about her. Perhaps you'll feel better after a week or two. A lot of my points will get deducted if I don't do anything in two weeks. No. Yang Yang, think it through again. Think about whether it's right for you to be doing this right now. Qin. Chin. Chin. Today's score, 46 points. Chin is angry at me. What should I do? I should apologize to Chin. Chin is asleep. Would it be better for me to look for him tomorrow morning? Who is it? Yang Yang? Qin. It's so late at night, what are you doing in my room? I'm sorry. What's wrong, Yang Yang? You didn't do anything that you should apologize for. But you seem rather unhappy with me. Don't you always make Zhan Weiguang unhappy as well? I don't see you apologizing to him. Zhang Weiguang is always unhappy with me. You're not allowed to use my bathtub. But. This is the first time you're unhappy with me. Alright, but I'm not unhappy with you. But, I called out to you just now, but you ignored me. I'm not unhappy. I'm just concerned about you. I'm scared that you'll be too stubborn and persistent. What do you mean? Oh. I'm scared that you might insist on getting together with that girl even when she doesn't accept you. However, I have no other choice. Chin, there's something that I'd like to tell you. Why don't you bring your pillow and blanket over? We can chat while lying down. All right. Go on. What did you want to tell me just now? Say it. Chin. But I can't tell you anything. Huh? Are you asleep? No. 
Don't be unhappy. I'll study hard. Okay. Everything will be fine once I manage to pursue them. After that, I'll focus on my studies and prepare for the national college entrance exams. Ching, you're a really nice person. Good night. Morning, Yang Yang, it's time for breakfast. Yang Yang, it's time to wake up and go to school. If you don't get up soon, Aunt Luo will knock on the door again. All right. Ching, I'm leaving. Go ahead, don't be late. Oh Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love and I'll no longer, be a Capulet. You've been all out of it for the entire day. what did you do last night? I was chatting with my cousin. You chatted with your cousin till late at night? Yeah. That's amazing. He's much better than my brother. My brother ignores me all the time. Xia Ling. Hum. What's so great about him? Have you still not given up? What else can I do? Confess to him straight away. That's what Qing told me. What if he rejects me after I confess to him? What else can you do? If he doesn't like you, you can't keep pestering him. That's rude. Oh. In that case, I'll think of another way. I don't want things to get ugly. I didn't watch Xia Ling play basketball today. I didn't do anything, but my points didn't get deducted. My points didn't get deducted today. Nothing weird on the ceiling. What's Yang Yang looking at? If my points don't get deducted even when I don't do anything, then I just won't take action for the time being. Decline in your love status. Two points deducted. Yang Yang, what's wrong? His forehead is cold. Doesn't seem like a fever. Chin. Hmm. I'd like to take a bath. But before your brother left, he told me not to let you use his bathtub. We don't need to let him know. Yang Yang just wants to take a bath in the bathtub. It's nothing much. Besides, this is his home, go ahead. Great. Ching, what's wrong? Why won't you let Wei Yang use the bathtub on the second floor? He always falls asleep while taking a bath. Dad is worried that he might drown, so he doesn't allow him to take a bath anymore. Ching, can you help to keep an eye on him? Please don't let him use my bathtub. I got it. Yang Yang. Chin. Do you want to take a bath as well? I'm not taking a bath. The bathtub isn't big enough. Do you want to take a bath that badly? Yeah. Usually, my dad and brother won't let me use the bathtub. The bathtub is filled up. I can take a bath now. Wei Guang just texted me. He told me that you always fall asleep while taking a bath. I won't. Let's do it like this, then. You can take a bath. I'll watch you from here. Thank you, Ching. I didn't do anything today. Xia Ling doesn't hate me either. So why did my points get deducted? On the second day, my points got deducted because Xia Ling didn't accept my love letter, perhaps the points have nothing to do with Xia Ling. They might depend on my actions. I got it. My status is progressing negatively due to my pessimistic attitude. So that's the reason. It has nothing to do with Xia Ling. He always falls asleep while taking a bath. Yang Yang, Yang Yang? Qi, 
Sheen, did it look like I died? Don't say stuff like that. I'll stay in the bath for a little longer. Don't stay in there till the water gets cold. I won't. Yang Yang? He fell asleep. I slept too late last night. Go back to your room to sleep. Let me help you. Ching, you're really strong. You're even stronger than my dad. Hurry up and return to your room. You should go to bed. Thank you. You're welcome. Yang Yang is just like a child. Ching, you're the best person I've ever met. Ah, what are you writing? Plan, follow Xia Ling around. Plan to follow, you're going to follow Xia Ling around? Hey, be quiet. Where are you going to do it? I'd like to see where he lives. After school on Saturday. After you find out where he lives, what then? I looked up how to pursue someone that you like online. I can try walking him home in the future. I can visit him when he's sick as well. If I bring him a gift, he might fall for me. You're acting just like a stalker right now. I'll make sure that he doesn't see me. Please accompany me. I'm begging you. All right. Saturday afternoon. School is over. He's got a bike. Let's head to the school gate to rent some bikes. Smart move. The yellow light flashed. Wait. Ugh. Damn it. He took a turn. Green light. Let's charge. It must be here. Chen Yu Yu, I'm done. Let's go. What shall we do? Shall we go eat? Sure. I found out where Xia Ling lives today. However, I didn't have the courage to chase after him. Hey, be careful. Watch where you're going. Zhang Wei Yang, are you alright? I'm fine. Let's stop cycling. We can take the bus back. We still need to eat something. Is he crying? It's alright. I'll eat at home. But I promised to treat you to a meal if you accompanied me. I'm not hungry. You should go home. Passengers, please be careful when the doors are closing. Please hold on to the handrail when the bus starts moving. Please pay with coins when you get on the bus. Please walk toward the back of the bus after paying. Zhang Wei Yang, sit down. We've arrived at. Please disembark from the back door. Be careful when the doors are opening. The next stop is. Please give up your seats to passengers that require help. Thank you. I'm getting off the bus soon. Take care. Chin. Did you fall? I accidentally fell down while cycling. Did you get injured? Oh, I'm just bleeding a little. Is there a medical kit at home? Yeah. They're just small scratches. There's no need to bandage them up. Oh, I'm a little hungry now. Ching didn't hear that, right? Did you not have lunch? Do you like egg fried rice? I do. I haven't cooked egg fried rice in a long time. I'll try cooking it. Wow. 
Do you want to wait outside? But I'd like to watch you cook. All right. It looks delicious. This is the tastiest egg fried rice that I've ever had. Give it to me. I'll do the dishes. All right. Ching, that was the tastiest egg fried rice I've ever had. Why are you whispering? That's because, I can't let Aunt Luo hear what I said. Oh, I see. Don't tell Aunt Luo what I said. Aunt Luo will be upset. Call me Brother Ching, and I won't tell Aunt Luo anything. Brother Ching. Please. Um, sure. The next afternoon. Yang Yang, it's time to wake up. Okay. Hurry up and come downstairs. It's time for lunch. Oh my, why do your injuries seem more serious than they were yesterday? I can't let grandmother worry about me. Ching Ching, take Yang Yang to the hospital later this afternoon. I'm worried that he may have fractured his bone. Let me take a look. Does it hurt? It doesn't really hurt. You'd better go to the hospital. Worried oh no, my Yang Yang. Ching, I don't want to go to the hospital. Bend your knees slightly. His bones are all right. If he really fractured his bones, he wouldn't be able to move. Don't worry, grandmother. Good thing that his bones aren't fractured. I'll buy some ointment for him in the evening. He'll recover soon. All right, let's eat. Grandmother, I'm going out to buy some ointment for Yang Yang. All right, take care. Who is it? Chen Yu Yu. I told my mom that I was coming over to visit you since you fell down and injured yourself. My mom asked me to buy some fruit. Please thank your mom for me. Do you have Coke at home? I'm really thirsty. We don't have Coke at home, but we do have ice cream. Then I'll take that. Do your wounds still hurt? They're all right. Then let's play some games. Zhang Wei Yang, you're really goo at this. We won again. Victory. Qing, you're back. Double kill. Yang Yang, do your legs still hurt? Qing might comfort me if I tell him that they hurt. They hurt. Sit down. I'll put some ointment on your wounds. Defeat! John Wei Yang! You went AFK! Yu Yu, this is my cousin, Pei Qing. Nice to meet you, Ching. Nice to meet you. Does it hurt? Nope, it just itches a little. Avoid walking up and down the stairs. Okay. Avoid moving around so much as well. Alright, I'm going upstairs. Have fun, you guys. Wow, your cousin is really handsome. Yep. Do you find him or Xiaoling more handsome? Qing is more. I can't say that. My points will get deducted. I think your cousin is better than Xiaoling. Why? It just feels that way. See you tomorrow, Zhang Weiyan. Yu Yu, I'll send you to the gate. It's alright, your cousin told you not to move around too much. Alright, then I'll see you tomorrow. The next day, in class. Zhang Weiyan, sit over here. Do you know Xia Ling from grade 10? Of course I know him. He's really handsome. I heard that his family is rather poor. Someone saw him working at night. Su Yuxuan. What? Well, do you know where Xia Ling works? Why are you asking me that? Explains he wants to find a job as well. He's just asking. All right, he's working at the fast food restaurant on Jin Fong Road. Thank you. Yu Yu. Let's go there to take a look tonight. Shall we have dinner there? Sure, 
I'll call Aunt Luo and tell her about it after school. Then I'll text my mom after school as well. Aunt Luo, one of my classmates will be treating me to dinner tonight. I won't be going home for dinner. Oh, Ching just told me the same thing. He isn't coming home for dinner either. Okay. If Ching isn't having dinner at home, where will he be? Chin Yu Yu, you're going to be the death of me. How many times have I told you to have less outside food because of how unhealthy it is? Why don't you ever listen to me? It's all my fault. You got scolded by your mom because of me. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You're my good friend. Chin Yu Yu, you're way too nice. I'll treat you to a good meal. It's fine. We're best friends. Don't even mention it. I don't see Xia Ling anywhere. Does he work here? Look, Xia Ling is outside. He seems to be in a hurry. He's busy delivering food. I wonder if he'll be back by the time we finish eating. Do you still want to wait for him later? Do you want to say something to him? Ching, wait for me. I need to do something. Where are you going? Help me keep an eye on Xia Ling. I'll be back soon. Ha. Huh. Brother Qin. Is he your younger brother? Yang Yang, this is my senior at the company that I'm interning at Qinishan. You can call her Miss Qin. Nice to meet you, Miss Qin. Miss Qin, this is my cousin. His name is Zhang Weiyang. Your younger cousin can address me as Miss Qin, but you don't have to. Why do I feel like Miss Qin looks at Qin differently? Yang Yang? Are you hungry? Nope. We'd like to order. All right. This is the menu. Order whatever you feel like having. I'll treat you to a meal today. Yang Yang, you can order. It's my treat. That won't do. I'm a older one here. I promise to treat him to a meal. Didn't you just tell me to disregard the seniority? All right. Yang Yang, do you like ice jelly with brown sugar? It's recommended in the menu. Ishan, would you like some? I don't like cold food. I'll order one bowl then. Come on, Yang Yang. You should have some first. It's really sweet. Does it taste good? Yeah. Eat slowly. You look after your cousin really well. I'm staying at my cousin's place right now. My uncle and grandmother are extremely caring toward me. I should look after him. A lot of men still act like kids after graduating and finding a job. You're much more mature than them although you're still a student. Here's your food. Pei Ching, I ordered the beer for you. It feels great to drink beer in this weather. Would you like some? Yes. I just remembered that you're still a student in senior high. You can't drink. Students in senior high can't drink. But I've already drunk alcohol with Chin Yu Yu. If I tell Ching that, he might get angry. Oh, right. I just remembered too. Do you have a girlfriend? Nope. Didn't you date in university? You should be rather popular among the girls, right? I haven't met someone that matches well with me. That's just a fancy excuse. That you can use to reject everyone that you're not satisfied with. I really haven't found anyone that gets along with me really well. I have extremely high requirements for one's personality. If I don't like someone, they won't be a good match for me. If they're not a good match, I won't accept them. Then, are older women beyond your scope of consideration? No, I don't have a specific type. 
To me, suitability is more of a feeling. It's better for you to have a type. Their conversation is really deep. But Qing definitely doesn't have a girlfriend. Zhang Weiguang doesn't have a girlfriend as well. I don't have one either. Is something wrong, Yang Yang? Are you full? Yes, I'm full. I'd like to go to the restroom. Can you find it yourself? Yeah. Your cousin doesn't seem like a student in senior high. He's just like a child. Yes, he's adorable. Since we're all full, let's go after your cousin comes back. Ishan, thank you for driving us home. Take care on the way home. All right, see you tomorrow. I'll text you when I reach home. Goodbye. Goodbye. Qing, Miss Qing seems really nice. Is that so? Right, Yang Yang, did you not have your school bag back with you today? Aren't you going to study tonight? School bag? School, oh no. Chin Yu Yu, I forgot about Chin Yu Yu. I left my school bag on the seat beside Chin Yu Yu. You mean that friend of yours? Did he not call you? My phone is in my bag. My bag is with him. Do you remember his phone number? Do you know where he is? Come on. Let's look for him. Taxi. Sir, please bring us to Happy Meal Restaurant. Yang Yang, slow down. Where's Happy Meal Restaurant? It's on Jean Phong Road. I'll point you in the right direction when we arrive at Jean Phong Road. Don't panic. Chen Yuyu is a student in senior high. He isn't a primary school student. He'll get angry at me. You said that you were out with a friend tonight. Was it with Chen Yuyu? Yeah. You forgot about your friend after seeing me? Um. You should apologize to him later. I will. Actually, he might have gone home. Need to apologize to him need to apologize to him. It seems like we'll have to visit Chen Yuyu's place to make sure that he's arrived home safely. Sigh, I wonder if uncle ever feels exhausted. Thank you, sir. Hello, I'm looking for my friend. I'm sorry. We're closed. Chen Yuyu. Where, where were you? I called you a dozen times. You wouldn't pick up. I'm sorry, I left my phone in my bag. I wasn't ignoring your calls on purpose. I'm going to explode in rage. Yu Yu, please don't explode. I'm sorry. I won't do this again. Yu Yu, don't be angry. Weirdo, don't follow me around. Go to hell! Thank you, Brother Ching. No worries, go home and have a good night. Chen Yu Yu. He's furious at me. Yang Yang, is there any homework that you need to complete today? Take a shower and go to bed then. All right. Decline in your love status. Two points deducted. I'm done for. Yang Yang? Why are you done for? Don't be scared. Chen Yuyu won't explode in rage. He was just describing how he felt. All of my points are going to be deducted. What points are going to be deducted? I. What will happen if all your points get deducted? If all my points get deducted, yeah, what will happen if all your points get deducted? I might turn into a plant. What plant? A plant with green leaves that's around this height. It's a potted plant that won't ever bloom. What is it called? What is it called? Yeah, all plants have names. My name is Jean Weiyang. Who's deducting your points? I don't know. Sigh. Hurry up and go to bed. You need to have a good night's rest. All right. Chen Yu Yu. Recent calls. Chen Yu Yu, 14. 
Chen Yuyu, don't be angry at me. In 21 days, you won't be able to see me anymore. You won't see me in. I'll soon turn into a plant. I won't be able to move or speak. But. But you can still come and visit me. Today's score. 42 points. Come in. Can I chat with you for a while? Come inside and chat with me. Ching, I'm going to tell you something you can't tell my dad any of this. What are you referring to? Is it about the deduction of your points or the fact that you're going to turn into a plant? Don't tell him any of it. Yang Yang, sit down. Let's have a chat. If you won't let me tell uncle about it, you have to tell me everything. Who's telling you that your points are being deducted? What did you do to get your points deducted? Sai, if you won't tell me anything, I can't help you. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Don't be angry at me. It's all right. Go to bed. Can I sleep beside you tonight? Sure. That's great. The scent of Yang Yang's shampoo is as refreshing and cool as he is. Good night, Yang Yang. Good night. If all of my points get deducted, I have to tell Qing about it in advance. When I really do turn into a plant, I hope that Qing will water me. The next morning. Why aren't you drinking the bottle of Coke that Zhang Weiyang bought for you? Why are you asking me that? I just find it odd. I never expected the two of you to ever argue with each other. Are you no longer angry at me? What did you mean, in the text that you sent to me yesterday? Ah, uh, about that, I thought about it. You can still visit me if you wanted to. But I'm not sure if I'll still be able to see you. I don't know what you're talking about. I hate Xiaoling. What should I do? I'm done for if I fail to pursue him. Will you explode if you fail at pursuing him? I won't explode, but I'm running out of time. Students, please flip to page 47 of your textbook. I'm planning to hire someone to attack him. I'll then be able to rescue him. That way, we'll be able to get to know each other. Do you still remember you? Can you help me find him? I can take care of the money. Are you crazy? Yu Yu, help me out. My time is running out. What time are you talking about? Hey. He called me a weirdo yesterday. Can I sit here? This is a good opportunity. Hello, I'm Zhang Weiyang. I'm in class 3 of the sophomore year. I'm 17 years old this year. I'm 1.74 centimeters tall. My horoscope is Aries. My blood type is B. If you have time, we can water plants together. Please stop staring at me. I, I, if I stare at you, I must be crazy. Yu Yu's stutter gets worse when he's angry. Yu Yu, don't be angry. It's all your fault. Yes, it's all my fault. Don't be angry at me. Xia Ling will end up just like this pair of chopsticks. That didn't count. Xia Ling will definitely end up worse than this pair of chopsticks. Grandmother, I've set up the television for you. If I had a granddaughter, I'd definitely let her marry you. What are you talking about? Isn't Qing your grandson? Oh, that's right. My thoughts are really losing clarity now that I'm getting old. Grandmother, Aunt Luo, I'm gonna head upstairs. I finally moved it. When I turn into a plant in the future, this will be my spot. Yang Yang, come down. Qin. 
Don't climb up there in the future. It's way too dangerous. All right. Go back to your room. All right. Chin, you look really good today. Did I not look good yesterday? You looked good yesterday too. You look good every day. You're the most handsome person ever. It's the first time someone has praised me in such an unreserved manner. I'm going to tidy up my clothes and take a shower. Are you going to go back to your room? Can I shower with you? No, you're already all grown up. Have you showered with anyone else at your age? Nope. I just wanted to shower with you. I've long stopped showering with my dad. Yang Yang, you're almost an adult now. You should make sure to keep an appropriate distance from other stern people. This applies to both males and females. All right. Is Ching unhappy? I'll wait for him. Yang Yang? What are you doing? I'm waiting for you. Why are you waiting for me? Did I make you unhappy? I feel like nobody likes me. Are you thinking like that because I won't shower with you? No, I just thought that you'd be annoyed by me. I annoyed Xia Ling today. I brought trouble to Yu Yu as well. Who's Xia Ling? It might be one of his classmates. Yang Yang, you should get up. Oh. Ha, huh, don't tickle me. Ching, stop tickling me. Ah, oh, I'm done. Get up. Hey. Let me tickle you. Are you not ticklish? Nope, not at all. I don't believe him. All right, stop fooling around. Ching must be ticklish in his armpits. Yang Yang, be good. Ching, get up. I can't disturb Ching while he's reading. Chen Yuyu. I just met you. He told me that he can take care of Xia Ling for us. When do you think is a suitable time? That's great. How much is he asking for? You told me that he'll do it for free since we're friends. He just wants us to buy some cigarettes for his buddies. Yu is so nice. Shall we do it after school this Saturday afternoon? It should be all right. I'll call you tomorrow. It's fine as long as his buddies are free. Shall I buy the cigarettes? What type of cigarettes should I buy? There's no hurry. Let's discuss it once everything is over. All right. Yang Yang, what are you doing? Nothing. I was worried that I'd disturb you while you were reading. You weren't disturbing me. I'm going to sleep. It's really dark. I can't see anything, Ching, are you asleep? Why can't I hear his breathing? Yang Yang, what are you doing? I wanted to hear the sound of your breathing. Why would you listen to my breathing? When I was young, Dad always secretly listened to the sound of my breathing. I used to secretly listen to the sound of his breathing as well. Were you sick when you were young? I think, so, I can't remember anymore. Chin. Did your dad bring you to see a doctor? I don't want to see the doctor. Yang Yang, I won't bring you to see a doctor. Don't be afraid. Chin, let's sleep. All right. Good night. Good night. Decline in your love status. Two points deducted. Today's score. 40 points. The next day, lunch break. Let's discuss our plan for next Saturday. I've done my research. Xia Ling cycles back home every Saturday after school. This place is rather secluded. By then, we'll hide ourselves here. 
What should we do? Stop pulling out the grass. What? The grass is dead. So what? Right, we still have one more problem. What? We can only follow Xiaoling back after school. We might not be able to catch up to him. We can't suddenly run over to rescue him from behind, right? Besides, if the teacher lets us off late, then what should we do? What did you say just now? I, I, I swear to God, screw you. I'm really going to die. It's already Friday today. Think of a way to hold Xiaoling back after school tomorrow. Then, we'll take action. Ah, you you. Wait for me. Handsome, throw the ball over. All right. Thank you, bro. Yay! I can play basketball with Qing in the future. He doesn't need to play with Zhang Weiguang. I'm sorry. We can stop him in the underground shopping street. Sounds good. That's great. I need to draft a map. Zhang Weiyang's point of view, Zhang plus Chen. Xie. What shall I do? I'll ask you to stop Xie Ling, grab his shirt, and ask him for money. After that, we'll rush over and ask him to let go of Xie Ling. I'll pretend to drive the bad guys away. After that, I can chat with Xie Ling. Thank you. No worries. I'll walk you home. Mission success. What are you drawing? It's nothing. Does this mean you don't do your revision, when I'm not around? No, that's not it. What did you draw? Why can't I see it? I don't want you to be unhappy. Are you playing chess? Then what's this? This is me and Chin Yu Yu. What about this? This is Xie Ling. Who's Xie Ling? One of my classmates. So what are you guys up to? Playing hide and seek. All right, go back to reading. You have to complete all your homework today. All right. Yawn. Are you sleepy? Can you sleep alone tonight? Why? Do you want to sleep with me forever? Yeah. Forever? Are you sure about that? Um. I'll be returning to school after interning here for half a year. Ah, uh, can I sleep with you until you leave? Why do you have to sleep with me? I don't want to sleep alone. Did you used to sleep with your dad or brother? Sometimes, I slept with my dad, but I never slept with my brother. Won't your dad be returning next month? That's what dad says. All right. Will I disturb you if I use my laptop? Nope. Go to bed, then. I'm gonna watch a movie. All right. I'd like to watch it as well. Don't watch. Why? It's not for kids. I'm not a kid. You are. I'll count to three. Turn around and sleep. I'm asleep. That was quick. Saturday afternoon. In an alley. Don't worry, we just need to teach the rascal that bullied my friend a lesson. That's right. No, just pretend to teach him a lesson. What do you mean by that? You can't hit him. Just verbally insult him or something. I'll be hiding by the side, and then I'll rush out. What shall we do once you rush out? 
You guys should pretend to be frightened by me and run away. That'll be really embarrassing for us. My friend is a really bright. Just play along with him. Yes, I can tell. But you have to take care of Xiaoling for me. Ask him to be more courteous to me in the future. Don't tell my friend this. What did you guys chat about? I asked them to listen to you and just pretend to hit him. That's great. He's here. Are you Xie Ling? I'm asking you a question. Are you deaf? I don't know you guys. That's all right. Let me tell you this. Chen Yuyu is my friend, be nicer to him in the future. Otherwise, I'll hit you once for every time you offend him. Got it? That's not how it's supposed to go. WW wait a little longer. Why are you pretending not to know anything? I hate that arrogant face of yours. I'm going. Let them teach him a lesson first. Hit him. Stop that rascal. Don't let him run away. Are they fighting? You, you, you're bleeding. Ha, huh. where? Ouch. Oh my god. Damn, you're way too cruel. Let go of him. We should send him to the hospital first. I'm letting you go because of this kid. Don't forget to thank him. Yu Yu, do you want me to send you to the hospital? It's all right. I'll go there myself. Yu Yu, let me help you up. Let's call for a taxi at the junction. Oh, right. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry. You'll need to go home yourself. I can't walk you home. I need to take Yu Yu to the hospital. I'll go with you too. Hello? Ching, it's me. Can you come to the hospital? Yang Yang? Did you get sick? It's not me. It's Chin Yu Yu. I'm really worried. Don't be afraid. Tell me which hospital you're at. I'll come over at once. Your wound is quite large. You need stitches. Doctor. Will I get disfigured? I don't have a girlfriend yet. I'm still in my sophomore year. You're a guy. Why are you afraid? Come over. Let me clean your wound and give you stitches. Yang Yang. Qin. What happened to Chen Yuyu? He's injured. He has a wound here. It's around this long. Did he get injured anywhere else? No. He didn't suffer a concussion or anything like that, right? No. Then it'll be fine. Don't worry. Really? Yes. That's good. Did you get scared? It's all my fault. Chen Yuyu got injured because of me. Besides, he hasn't told his parents about his injury. Yang Yang, is this your classmate? He's Xia Ling. He's from my school. Xia Ling, this is my cousin. He's Xia Ling? Oh, so he's Xia Ling? So what happened? I accidentally hit him with my bike. That's not what happened. It's all my fault. You should apologize to Chen Yuyu and his parents. You should learn your lesson from this incident. Make sure that you don't get into any accidents anymore. Qin. Let me take a look. Do you feel uncomfortable anywhere else? I'm all right. That's good. Give me the prescription. I'll help you pay the medical fees and collect your medicine. I'll do it. I was the one who hit him. I don't need you to do it for me. I can do it myself. Let me do it. Give it to me. Then I guess I'll take my leave. I can do it myself. Let me do it. No. Give it to me. Let me do it. No. Give it to me. Are you going to pay the fees or not? If you're not going to pay, move. 
I'll pay. Enjoy your meal. Did you guys not have lunch? Yeah, Ching, aren't you eating? I've eaten. You guys can eat. All right. Is it tasty? Yeah. Ching, you should try some too. It's okay. Just one scoop. It tastes just like the flavorings used in fast food. It doesn't taste good. Does it taste good? It does. Ching, I'll order a drink for you. It's all right. Take this, then. You can wipe your mouth with it once you're done eating. Why is Yang Yang acting so odd? Let's send Yu Yu back home first. All right. Thank you, Ching. How did Yu Yu get injured? Xiaoling's bike collided with me. How come? You guys didn't go home immediately after school. What were you guys doing outside? How did Yu Yu get hit by Xia Ling's bike? Since Xia Ling hit Yu Yu while he was cycling, it's better for us to notify Xia Ling's parents. If anything happens to Yu Yu, someone will be able to account for it. No, don't do that. Why can't I do that? That's because it's all my fault. It has nothing to do with Xia Ling. You're quite protective of Xia Ling. Is he your best friend? Are you closer to him than you are to Yu Yu? He won't blame Xia Ling for anything. Why is that so? That's because Xia Ling is handsome, right? Does Xia Ling have good results? His results are great. He's great. Hmm. He's handsome, he has a tall build, and he has good results. Mrs. Chen, Yu Yu, and Yang Yang were fooling around. They had too much fun together. And Yu Yu hit his head by accident. It's all right. Nothing happened to him. All you ever do is fool around and act mischievous. Have you learned your lesson this time around? Let's see if you still dare to behave like that in the future. You can ignore him. Yang Yang is such a good boy. In that case, we won't disturb you, Mrs. Chen. It's all right, you can stay here a little longer. Yu Yu, we're leaving. I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'll take half of your pain. This way, you'll no longer be in so much pain. Don't do anything. I don't want to become a fool like you. Chen Yu Yu, where are your manners? In that case, I'm leaving. Hurry up and leave. They're used to playing around with each other. Sometimes they don't know how to watch their language. If they knew how to watch themselves, Yu Yu wouldn't have gotten injured. Are you Yang Yang's cousin? How old are you? 21. You seem to be really young. Are you a university student? Where are you studying? Yes, I'm in my fourth year. I'm a student at University A. You're from University A. You must have excellent results. Come over whenever you're free. Yu Yu is in grade 11 now. His results are all right. He's just mischievous and disobedient. He doesn't listen to anything that I say. If it's convenient for you, you can tell him about what it feels like to study at a top-ranking university. Help me persuade him to prepare well for the college entrance examination so that he can enter a good university like you. All right, I'll try my best. We'll take our leave. Goodbye, Mrs. Chen. All right, take care on the way back. Goodbye, Mrs. Chen. Goodbye, Yang Yang. Ching, tell me about it. About what? Tell me what Mrs. Chen asked you to tell Chen Yu Yu. Shouldn't you tell me about that tall and handsome boy with good results? Who's that? Never mind. Let's go home. 
Who is it? He's tall, and has good results. He's handsome as well. Are you referring to yourself? Decline in your love status. Two points deducted. Today's score, 38 points. There shouldn't be a decline in my love status. Although things didn't happen as planned, we sent Yu Yu to the hospital together. Even if the system isn't going to give me any points, it shouldn't deduct my points. Ching should be asleep. Is Yang Yang sleepwalking? This is the spot on the balcony with the best view. Once my points get fully deducted, I'll stay here. I can see the view and people outside from here. I can see Dad and Qing when they walk past me. However, once I turn into a plant, my lower body will be transformed into roots. I need soil to live. The soil will dirty Qing's bedsheets. By then, he won't allow me to sleep on his bed anymore. Zhang Weiyang? Qing? He's awake. He isn't sleepwalking. Why aren't you sleeping? I came over to look around. What are you looking at? I'm looking at my spot. What? Ching, look. We can see all the nicest parts of the neighborhood here. Yes, so? So? My points are gonna be gone soon. His points are gonna be gone. That's what he said last time too. Was he serious when he said it? After my points are gone, I'll be staying here. You have to remember to water me. Will you become a plant once your marks are gone? However, humans can't turn into plants. Different organisms can't transform into each other. Hmm. Achu. It's late at night now. You should go back to bed. Hurry up and go to sleep. Do you still feel cold? Ah, uh, I'm not cold now. Hurry up and go to bed. You won't be able to get rid of me now, Qin. No wonder I dreamed about Qin getting trapped in roots, I'm going out after breakfast. Where are you going, Yang Yang? I'm going to buy a plant pot. Why do you need a plant pot? Aren't there many plant pots, upstairs? I'm buying it for myself. Are you going to take care of a plant? Yeah. Where are you going to buy the pot? Why don't I buy one for you instead? Grandmother, I'll go with him. Do you know where plant pots are sold? They should be sold in flower markets or flower shops. That's true. It's better for you to drive there. Otherwise, it'll be hard for you to carry the pot back. That's true. Yang Yang, let Qing accompany you there. All right. Yang Yang, shall we visit the nearest flower market? All right. Thank you, Qing. You don't need to thank me, but... Is Yang Yang choosing a pot for himself? Didn't say it out loud. Does he have to go to such lengths? What was that? It's nothing. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? It was just a dream. It was just a dream. Wow. Let's walk around. Sure. How pretty. How much is this? You can purchase everything for a hundred. Everything? Yes, handsome. Do you want all of them? Won't that be too many? Yes, there are quite a few. You won't be able to look after all of them. Chin, I don't want them. Let's go. What did you say just now? I told them that I won't be able to look after them in the future. That's why I won't be bringing them home with me. He was talking to the succulents. I need someone to water me as well. 
Let's look around some more, then. No. Wow. Yang Yang, what's wrong? Qin, do you think that plant looks good? Are you referring to that money plant? It's pretty nice. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good as well. Why would buy such a large pot? Only a large pot would fit me. All right. Thank you, Qin. If Yang Yang didn't have such slow reactions, he'd be a confident and outstanding young man like his brother at his age. He might be secretly dating someone. He should be playing basketball with other kids on a sunny weekend afternoon like today, and girls would cheer for him whenever he scored. Either way, he shouldn't be. It's clean. Trying to move a huge pot around on the balcony. Let me inspect it again. Do you want to give your pot a name? Ha. Huh. Well, it should at least have a name. Even you have a name. Right now, when I look at Yang Yang, it's as if, he has really turned into a plant, and he's no longer able to move or speak. He won't react. Even if I try teasing him. Yang Yang, what's wrong? I don't know what I should name it. It's my pot. All right, all right. Let's stop thinking about it. It's your pot. Qin, I'd like to fill it with some soil. Can you help me pour the soil in later? Why don't we do that another day? Why? That's because you still have class tomorrow. If you plant yourself in the soil today, how can you attend class tomorrow? That makes sense. Also, have you forgotten about Chen Yuyu? He injured his forehead because of you. Are you not gonna go to school and comfort him tomorrow? Ah, I almost forgot about that. Ching, you're a really nice person. Here, come on out. Aren't you going to come out? What's wrong? When I'm in here, I feel a very strong sense of belonging. Sense of belonging? No, you don't. You've kept yourself busy for the entire afternoon. Would you like to take a nap? Do you want to take a nap on my bed? I can go to Qin's room. I'll carry you out. Qin. Do you want to go to bed? Yes. Qin, I like you a lot. Do you like me? You can consider liking me. The next day. Yu Yu, I'll treat you to milk tea in the afternoon. I want Starbucks. All right, I'll treat you to Starbucks. I'll order a cup for myself and a cup for Chin Yu Yu. I'll order one more cup for Xia Ling. Is your friend all right? I'm referring to that kid with the stutter. His scar is this long. By the way, do you want some coffee? No. Oh, all right. I can't fall asleep. I must have had too much coffee in the morning. Yang Yang, where are you going? I'm going to the balcony. Don't go there. You'll catch a cold. But I can't seem to fall asleep. Why can't you fall asleep? Because I had two cups of coffee in the afternoon. Why would you drink two cups of coffee? I bought a cup for someone else, but they didn't want it. Who's that mean to reject the coffee that you bought for them? Chin, do you like coffee? I'll buy a cup for you next time. That was way too close, I'll buy you whatever you feel like drinking. I'd like to have a cup of Oreo boba. Oreo boba. It's really tasty. Let's drink that together in the future. All right. Chin, can you hug me to sleep? I think I'll be able to fall asleep if you hug me. No, ever since Yang Yang asked me whether I liked him. Last Sunday afternoon, he's been extremely clingy. Why? Would you let your brother hug you to sleep? Yes. Will you let Zhan Weiguang hug you to sleep? I don't want Zhan Weiguang, I only want you. 
You're my elder brother as well. I can't hug my 17-year-old brother to sleep. All right. Where are you going? I can't fall asleep. I'd like to look at my pot. I have no other choice. Come over. I'll hug you to sleep. Yay! National Day Holiday Mom, I'm back. Are you doing all right? I'm doing great. Dad! Hey, my son! Uncle, you're back. Ching, thank you for looking after everyone at home while I wasn't home. No worries. It must have been difficult for you to work away from home. Hurry up and wash your hands. Come and have these noodles. You can chat after eating. Has Yang Yang been doing his revision? Yes, he's been extremely obedient every day. Don't hide things from me. I know that sometimes, he doesn't pay attention even though his books are open in front of him. Not at all Yang Yang is a good boy. I'll return to my room now. Uncle, you should rest early. Sure, you should rest early too. Yang Yang, you should chat with your dad. This is a gift for you. Do you like it? I like it. Thank you, dad. You're such a good son. I'm gonna take a shower. You should go back to your room. All right. Oh, right, Xiao Song is coming over tomorrow. He'll come over with your brother. You're not allowed to argue with him. You need to get along with Xiao Song. Sure. All right, you can go back to your room. Come in. Yo, look at my new cap. It looks good. You're not even looking at me. I saw your cap. It looks really good. Yang Yang. Hmm. You can't sleep here today. Why can't I sleep here anymore? Your dad is back. You can sleep in your room now. If you're still frightened at night, you can look for your dad. Can't I look for you? If uncle sees you being like this, he'll be disappointed in you. If we sleep together even though there are plenty of rooms at home, uncle will misunderstand our relationship. Come on, I'll take your sheets and everything else back to your room. All right, hurry up and go to bed. How old are you, Yang Yang? Seventeen. Are you still afraid of ghosts at the age of seventeen? I'm not afraid of ghosts. Ghosts don't exist. Then what are you frightened of? I'm afraid that all of my points will get deducted. I'm telling the truth. That won't happen. You won't turn into a plant. And you most certainly won't turn into a money plant. Rest soon. Nobody believes me. I'll ask Chen Yuyu about it. Chen Yuyu, do you like money plants? Why would I like this plant? It's nothing much. I just wanted to show you a money plant. I think it looks really nice. Goodbye. Bye. All right. I'm done. The next morning. Why is there a pot here? Yang Yang and I bought it when we went out together. Oh, what do you guys intend to plant in it? A money plant. It's more suitable for money plants to be planted indoors. They'll wilt if it gets too sunny outside. Uncle, about Yang Yang. Has he always been like this since he was a child? Did Yang Yang cause you trouble? No, I'm just concerned about Yang Yang. I'm wondering if we should bring him to a doctor. I don't have any ill intentions. Please don't be angry, uncle. Sai, it's fine. You don't understand Yang Yang. He must have caused you plenty of trouble. Since I'll be staying at home for some time, I'll keep an eye on him. Uncle. Zhang Weiyang's cousin, a 10th grader Zhang Xiosong. Qing, I'm here. Zhang Xiosong likes Pei Qing a lot. He wanted to go out to have fun with his cousins as soon as he arrived at the Zhang residence. 
Ching, shall we go out to have fun in the next few days? Sure. Do you want to come along with us, Yang Yang? Doesn't want to play with his mischievous cousin. Yang Yang, why aren't you going out to have fun with your cousins? I don't want to go out with them. All right. You don't need to go if you don't want to. Xiao Song is here. There aren't enough beds at home. Yang Yang, from tonight onwards, you can either sleep with Xiao Song. But I'd like to sleep with Qing. Does Qing want to sleep with you? You can't sleep here today. He doesn't want to sleep with me. After all, Pei Qing isn't your aunt's biological son. However, Xiao Song is your biological cousin. If you're willing to share the same bed with him, you shouldn't cause Pei Qing any trouble. Do you understand? All right. Don't be unhappy. When I'm free, I'll bring all of you out to have fun for an entire day. All right. Yang Yang, it's time to eat. Come down to eat. I'm not hungry. I'm hungry. Let me find something to munch on. Yang Yang, Qin, don't eat instant noodles. If you're hungry, I can bring you outside to have a meal. All right. Ah, can we do that? Of course. We can go out secretly. Don't let your dad know about this. Okay. All of the dishes have been served. I like how Qing smells. Qing, can I have beer? You can't drink. I'll drink it. Come on, have some meat. When can I have beer? When you become an adult, you can do a lot of things when you're eighteen. What can I do? What else would you like to do? I'd like to make love. Don't say nonsense. You can't simply form bad relationships with other people even after you turn eighteen. You have to find a suitable person, and you have to take responsibility. Do you understand what I mean? I'll definitely take responsibility for my partner. Do you know how to do it, Yang Yang? It's okay. It's fine. Hurry up and eat. Come on, open your mouth. Qin, you should eat it. I like watching you eat. Okay. Are you full? Why don't we go back after resting for a while? Sure. Why didn't you go out with everyone to have fun today? Don't you want to go out with me? It's not that. I just didn't want to go out with Jean Chausson and the others. In that case, you can go out to have fun with me in the future. All right. Chin, do you like having fun with me? I do. How would you like to have fun? I'll keep you company. All right. Why do you treat me so well? Yeah. Why do I treat you so well? Why do you? Why do you think I treat you so well, Yang Yang? I don't know. Ching was the one who asked me that first. I don't know either. Let's go back to get some sleep. It's all your fault. I can no longer sleep with Ching because you're back. I'll return to my room before Ching wakes up tomorrow. That way, nobody will find out that I slept here. The next day, Ching woke up before I did. Oh no! Uncle, did John Weiyang sleep with you last night? Nope, he didn't. Yang Yang, come over and have breakfast. Wasn't Yang Yang sharing a bed with you? He wasn't there. His pillow and blanket weren't on the bed either. Yang Yang, last night. Uncle, Yang Yang slept in my room last night. I ran into Yang Yang when I went to the bathroom last night. He told me it was hard for him to fall asleep as his bed was too small. That's why I asked him to sleep in my room. His bed is rather small. I'm sorry, Ching. Yang Yang must have disturbed you last night. It's all right, Uncle. We're a family. If Xiao Song doesn't mind, he can sleep in my room tonight. Yang Yang can sleep alone. No, I mind. 
It's all right. You guys can all sleep comfortably. I'll sleep with Yang Yang. Let's decide later tonight. We can let them decide where they'd like to sleep. Zhang Weiyang, don't walk next to Qing. Come over. Zhang Weiyang, be careful. I told you to walk further away from the lake. Can't you understand what I said? He had a fright just now. Don't yell at him like that. You'll scare him. He won't listen to me no matter how many times I tell him anything. It's all right. He'll understand if you speak to him nicely. Guan, don't be angry. Did he scare you? No. That's good. There were tandem bikes up for rent over there. Would you like to go cycling, Yang Yang? Yes. Cycle with Yang Yang for a while. I'd like to have a word with Wei Guang. Listen to me. All right. Qin. Come on. Are you planning to ask me about Zhan Wei Yang? Yeah, do you think I can resist from asking you about him? I thought that you'd definitely be curious about him. But I didn't expect you to get along with him so well. Yang Yang is just like a child. It's easy to get along with him. He sure does behave like a child. He never listens. He's super annoying. So, was Yang Yang born that way? Yang Yang almost drowned when he was younger. Help! Yang Yang! Zhang Wei Yang! He had already stopped breathing when he got brought up to the surface. Luckily, we delivered CPR to him in time and managed to save his life. Don't scare me! The doctors said that he's like this now. Because his brain was permanently damaged due to an oxygen shortage during the incident, which affected the development of his brain. My dad brought him to see many doctors, and they tried all the treatments that were available. Given his current state, he has actually recovered pretty well. Don't ask my dad about this incident anymore. He's extremely sensitive toward this topic. Zhang Weiyang is just a little dumber and slower at reacting as compared to his peers. Otherwise, he's fine. He's capable of looking after himself. I know that he might be annoying at times, but you can just ignore him if he keeps pestering you. No, I think he's pretty cute. You just need to be more patient toward him at times. Brother. It's already annoying enough that I have to make sure he doesn't go near water or take a bath in the bathtub. I don't want to cycle with Zhang Xiaosong anymore. Then you should just stop cycling and return the bike. It's okay. I'll cycle with you then. Qin, you're the best. Let's go. We're heading off. Slow down. I'll help you up. I don't want to cycle anymore. You guys can take the bike. His brain was permanently damaged due to a shortage of oxygen. Qin, does Qin no longer want to keep me company? Shall we start cycling? Sure. Wake up, Yang Yang. We're home. Do you want to sleep with me tonight? I'll sleep in Qing's room. Why do you want to sleep with Qing? Do you not like me anymore, Yang Yang? It's the best moment to convince Yang Yang to sleep in uncle's room right now, Yang Yang, you can come over to sleep anytime. Don't worry, uncle. My bed is extremely wide. Yang Yang won't feel cramped. Zhang Wei Yang, sleep in my room. No. All right, as long as your brother doesn't mind, you can sleep. Wherever you want to. That's great. My dad brought him to see many doctors, and they tried all the treatments that were available. Given his current state, he has actually recovered pretty well. Qin, I'm here. Qin. Qin. Let me hug you for a while. All right. Qin, you can hug me, all you want. Why is there out an empty plant pot here? I don't know. Get down. 
You're not allowed to step on my pot. That's my pot. Get down. Fine. I'll get down. My pot. Go away. Why are you so angry? It's just a pot. It cracked. Hey, Guang. Is Yang having an episode? Zhan Weiyang, it's just a pot. Zhan Xiaosong can get you a new one. What happened? Qing, Zhan Xiaosong stepped on my pot and broke it. We can just buy a new one since it broke, how does that sound? But this is my pot. It won't be mine if we buy a new one. Zhan Weiyang, that's enough. I'll help you fix it. I should be able to fix it using pottery glue. All right. However, Xiaosong needs to apologize to Yang Yang before that. He should apologize to my pot. He needs to bow three times before it. What? Did it die? Am I supposed to light up some jaw sticks for it as well? Do it then. What the hell? You're insane. I don't want to talk to you. The pot might not be as durable after it's been fixed. But I'll be living inside it. Will my roots break it? Your roots, why don't I dig you up? And keep you by my side? But I'm a money plant. My roots are full of dirt. Your clothes will get dirty. Yang Yang, no one will turn into a money plant. But I really am a money plant. Alright. Are you a good-looking money plant? I've tried my best to save you. If I break you while I grow in the future, I'll have no choice but to get another pot. However, I'll always remember you. The next morning. Who did this? Yang Yang? Probably Xiu Song. He broke Yang Yang's pot yesterday. Yang Yang got angry and argued with him. Xiu Song was enraged and said that he'd light up some joss sticks for the pot. I think he might have really done so. Qin, what's wrong? Yang Yang, Xiu Song has already apologized to your pot. He even lit up joss sticks for it. Can you forgive him? All right. I'll forgive you since you've apologized to my pot, and my pot has recovered as well. Uh, then? Shall we play basketball together in the afternoon? Zhan Weiguang. Su Fong Wan. It really is you. We've just finished playing. I'll introduce you to my friend, Xie Ling. We can join you if you guys are still playing. No. Wei Guang, you guys can go ahead and play together. Yang Yang and I are quite tired. We'll rest in the car. Yang Yang, do you remember writing a lover letter for somebody? At the beginning of the semester. But they ended up throwing it away? Do you still like that person now? Is that person your classmate? Is it Xie Ling? I can't give you an answer. Continue resting here. I'll go get some fresh air. Ah, if I tell you about it, the system will deduct all my points. Once my points are gone, I won't be able to see you anymore. Why isn't Qin here? Where did he go to? Wei Guang, have you sensed that Yang Yang hasn't been in a good mental condition lately? What? Did he mention having his points deducted? And him turning into a money plant to you? Money plant? What money plant? It seems like Yang Yang only told me all this stuff. It's no wonder he treasures that pot so much. He didn't tell me anything. He thinks that you don't treat him nicely. What else does he want me to do? Dad and I were there when Zhang Weiyang almost drowned. I got into an argument with another kid. My dad came over to pull us apart, so he didn't notice Zhan Wei Young. He had stopped breathing and lost his pulse when someone discovered him. This is the greatest pain in my dad's life. I don't know if he hates me for everything that happened. However, he definitely hates himself. My mom hates him too. Once they found out that Zhan Wei Young couldn't recover, my mom frequently got into heated arguments with my dad. She couldn't stand anything that anyone in the family did. Eventually, she forced herself to leave. Ching, I shouldn't have told you all this. 
Actually, I rarely see someone that would treat Jean Weyong so patiently like you. Even my dad often fails to take him seriously. It's no wonder Jean Weyong only likes you. He must have caused you plenty of trouble. You don't need to worry about Jean Weyong's weird thoughts. He might get better after some time. Otherwise, we can just break that pot into pieces and let him cry over it. He might be all right on the next day. We shouldn't do that. Let him have the pot. Yang Yang, come here. Get up. Wing, what's wrong? Are you going to ignore me from now on? When have I ever ignored you? You're annoyed at me. Yang Yang, I could never be angry at you. All right, are you still upset? No. If you turn into a plant in the future, will you be living on the balcony? Yeah. There's sunlight on the balcony. There are other plants to keep me company as well. Yang Yang, have you talked to those plants? Are you friends now? Not yet. That's a pity. I wanted you to help me ask them a question. What question? Can you ask them why they would turn you into a plant? They're not the ones doing this to me. It's something that's inside my head. Is there something that powerful in your head, Yang Yang? Is it capable of turning you into a money plant? Yeah. I don't know where it came from. Is it deducting your points? How many points are you left with now? Do you not feel like telling me anything? I only have 38 points left. Is it out of a hundred points? Yeah. Oh, dear. Why is our Yang Yang that dumb? You only scored 38 out of a hundred points. What are you going to do? I don't know. It's all right, it's all right even if you don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kissed you. Why not? In the television dramas that I watch, there are only guys kissing girls. Do you know other ways of kissing? Do you want me to teach you? All right. Never mind. I shouldn't be teaching you any of this. Yang Yang, let's go to bed. Qin, just teach me something. I'd like to learn. No. Why not? I don't think it's right for me to do that. I think it's right for you to do so. Why would you want to learn something like that? Because I'd like to kiss you. That won't be good for any of us. Yang Yang, might not even know what he's doing right now. Good night. A few days later. Qin, which floor are you on? I brought dinner for you. Yang Yang? Where are you? I'm on the first floor. Wait for me over there. All right. Why did you come over? I wanted to bring you dinner. You came over just in time. I'm hungry. Would you like to hang out at my office? Sure. Did grandmother tell you the address of my office? Yeah. I came here myself. You're amazing, Yang Yang. What did you bring for me? Dumplings. I bought dumplings with corn and pork filling, tomato and beef filling, leek and egg filling, and cabbage and pork filling. They all seem really tasty, so I bought all of them for you. That's a lot. I can't finish everything alone. Have you eaten? Ate at home. I didn't eat anything. Let's eat together. What do you feel like having? The corn ones. All right. This one's cabbage and bites. Then I'll have the remaining half. Which one do you want next? That one doesn't look like it's corn and pork. I want this one. Is it corn and pork? Which one next? Let's see which one isn't a pork one. Wei Yang, why are you here? He brought me dinner since he knows that I'm working overtime. Do you want to eat with us? I'll order some more takeaway. It's all right. It wouldn't seem appropriate. You're right. That'll make me seem rather stingy. Let's have dinner on another day. I'll treat you to a nice meal. <laughs> you guys enjoy your food. I'll take my leave. I'll walk you out. When will you treat me to that meal? It depends on when you're free. Does tomorrow work for you? Sure. Yang Yang, 
Why aren't you eating? I don't feel like eating anymore. What's wrong? I had dinner at home. I lied to you just now. All right, then I'll eat everything myself. Are you going to have a meal with that lady tomorrow? Yes. Are you not going to come home for dinner? I can't tell you for sure. I might be having lunch with her. Then, are you going to date her? Why would you ask me this question? Because I'd like to know your answer. Why would you like to know my answer? Yang Yang, I won't date her. I won't date any girls. Are you that happy, Yang Yang? Can you tell me who I'm allowed to date, since you don't want me to date her? You can't date anyone else. Who do you regard as not anyone else? All right, wait for me here. Let's go back after I finish preparing the last form, all right? Sure. Me. What? Come on, let's go back. Have you finished work for today? Yes, I'm all done. It's quite windy today. Are you cold? Your hand is freezing. And you're still saying that you're not cold? I'm not cold. Liar. Hee hee, I really hope that the walk back home can be longer. We're home. Ching, let's not go home just yet. Come with me. What are you doing? It's not like that. I learned it from someone else. Who did you learn it from? What did you learn? I learned that. What is that? You need to tell me everything clearly. Pucker your lips and let me kiss you. All right, all right. Do you really want to kiss me? Yes. In that case, let me teach you. Open your mouth. So that's how you kiss. Yang Yang, it's already 10 o'clock at night. You should shower. Aren't you going to take a shower with me? Why must we take a shower together? I want you to kiss me again. Do you like it a lot, Yang Yang? I do. How much do you like it? I like it this much. Go on. All right. Stop fooling around and go take a shower. It's time for you to go to bed after you shower. You still have to attend school tomorrow. Aren't you going to shower with me? I'm not going to shower with you. Are you going to sleep with me? I'm not going to sleep with you either. But you already kissed me. Aren't you going to make love to me after kissing me? Didn't you say that one can only make love when they're aged 18 years and above? Oh, right. I forgot all about that. It's time for you to take a shower. Can't we just shower and not make love? No. That's because I won't be able to resist myself. Be a good boy. Qin should have finished showering, right? Yang Yang, what's up with you tonight? Would you like me to coax you to sleep? No, hurry up and get into bed. What are you trying to do? What's wrong? Uh, didn't you drink alcohol before showering? Why aren't you reacting that way? What? Why haven't you lost control over your urges yet? Losing control over one's urges after drinking alcohol is just an excuse for being irresponsible. Let's wait till you're 18 years old. Before we discuss these things. Yang Yang, do you know why you must wait till you're 18 years old? That's because you'll have to wait till you're mentally mature. You can date around right now, but doing such things won't be good for you. But there are still a few more months till I turn 18 years old. That's very soon. Yang Yang, let's go to bed. Is that alright? But, 
What if it's too late for me when that day comes? What are you talking about? Why would it be too late for you? Yang Yang. I told you about it before, once my points are fully deducted, I'll turn into a plant. However, you didn't tell me who's the one deducting your points. Yang Yang, can you tell me? Never mind. Perhaps Chen Yuyu might know about it. A few days later, the end of year examinations came to an end. Yang Yang, over here. Ching. Hello, Ching. Let's have dinner outside together before going home today. I've already told grandmother about it. Sure. Yu Yu, do you know how many points Wei Yang has left? He even told me that he'd turn into a plant once all his marks have been deducted. Has he told you that? Oh, he told me about that. Who's deducting his points? He told me that there's a love system inside his mind. He must date. Don't say it. I'm sorry. He's your cousin. You're so close to each other. I thought I could tell him. Yang Yang. All right. I won't ask him about it anymore. All right. Goodbye, Zhang Wei Yang. See you tomorrow. Yang Yang, do you want to tell me about the system? You told me that your points have almost been fully deducted. And that you'll turn into a plant and you'll no longer be able to speak. You can still speak now. Aren't you going to tell me everything clearly? If one morning, I go into your room after waking up and see a money plant lying on the bed, I won't even know what happened to you. Do you think that'd be fair for me? No. I'll go inside the flower pot and bury myself in the soil before that happens. So you still have no intentions of telling me anything, before going into the flower pot? Yang Yang Ching, I'll miss you a lot. Don't be afraid, Yang Yang. You won't leave me. I'll accompany you. We'll drive the system away, alright? But how are we going to drive it away? Shall I pursue Xie Ling? Would you like to pursue him? No, I don't want to do that even if I turn into a plant. You're the only one that I like. It turns out that you love me that much. I'm very happy. Yang Yang, I'll accompany you to the doctors. Is that alright? No. However, only a doctor can drive the system away. You won't turn into a plant anymore if you take your medication on time. I'll get you a good doctor. I'm afraid. It seems like I'll never be able to watch you turn 18 years old. Right, 18 years old. I need to wait till I'm 18 years old to make love to Ching. <laughs>